Well, we are now on to episode three of Loki. We are halfway through. And with this episode, it's just skippable, really. Definitely a skippable episode. We get introduced to Lady Loki, a.k.a. Sylvie. And she is a cow. Really? That's all I've got to say about her. There's no chemistry between her and Tom Hiddleston. None there at all. And again, it's just the... It's what we've been seeing, you know, throughout Marvel Phase 4. Is for some reason, every female character that gets introduced, you just hate their guts. I don't know why. I don't know why they're writing them that way. But they are writing them that way. And at the end of the day, that isn't my fault, is it? But again, it's just the... The usual stuff we've seen over the years. It's always interesting going back to, you know, maybe about the start of Phase 4. And you and you see these types of things. And you're just like, oh yeah, they've done that about 17 times. And, and nothing has changed about it. Uh, even, even starting off with Quantumania, they had the same shit with, uh, with Scott Lang's daughter. Where she just magically knows how to... Uh, knows quantum, you know, quantum science. Uh, and it's it's the same shit here. You have Lady Loki who taught herself tricks and illusions. Uh, just every time it's, oh no, I taught myself. Because that's how teaching people works. You know, you just learn things. Uh, things as complicated as whether it be quantum mechanics or... Or just magic and illusions. You know, as complex as that, it's like, oh, no, I taught myself. Or, like, in Quantumania's case, it's, oh, I read a few journals, and now I know everything there is to know about, uh, you know, going into the quantum realm or whatever it was at this point. So nothing's nothing's changed since since this show. It's been the same shit. Same shit, different day. Uh, but it's it's a very skippable episode, very boring. Won't take us long to get through, and I, I mean it this time. Because uh, so far, I th what have I spent on this now? Like r with just the two episodes, it's about you know the first episode I reviewed. That review was forty five minutes. The second episode was almost an hour. So this one's going to be, I don't know, about twenty minutes or something like that. Uh, but at least I am starting to power through these episodes. I'm just trying to get through, get them done, and then I'm I'm done with this show. And well, until season two, unfortunately. Uh, but it all starts off with essentially this is this is the TVA agent that Sylvie took, the, uh, kidnapped, and she's trying to trick her into telling her. You know, certain things about the TVA. And the one thing I will say about Sylvie is she selectively knows things about the TVA. She, like, you know, when it's convenient, she knows things. When it's not, she doesn't know. And it, it's just, it's just hilarious. It's like, well, you know, she's been spending all this time, you know, kidnapping TVA agents. Although I think that's the the actual first one she kidnapped. Uh, but, like, you know, beating all these TVA, TVA agents. And she just selectively know, knows things. It's like, surely you've been spending that amount of time on them. You must know you must know quite a lot of stuff about them. Uh, about where they where they exist, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, no, it's just selectively. I, I don't know why. So she's trying to trick this guard into giving her... She, like, Sylvie asks her... How many are guarding the timekeepers? It's like, what, you don't know that? I, 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 again, I, I don't know why she doesn't know that. But then again, she knows other things about the TVA agents. Uh, but I, I mean, it's, it's very obvious. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guards guarding them. Actually, do you, do you know what happens? Turns out to be two guards. There's two, two people guarding the timekeepers. Why? Oh, oh, that's right. The TVA are incompetent as shit. That that's why they put they two they put two men on the doors, and of course them against a the woman. You know she's going to win. We all know that. Uh, so yeah, let's get through this. So then it cuts to. Uh, you know, I, I don't even know why she's going to this trouble. It's like, you know, I've, recently I I just watched 
well, well, last Monday now, I watched... Well, is there any point in mentioning in a, uh, mention a date? Because I'm not even putting this up for like another seven weeks. Uh, but, you, you know, episode eight of The Last of Us, you know, Joel wants to get information about where Ellie is. Uh, so he just he just puts a knife in a guy's kneecap. Seems like that, that there's certain things you could do instead of going to all this song and dance to figure out uh, where she asks, uh, how do I find the elevators? And the, and sh sh the TVA agent just says, they're gold. It, it, do you not want more information than that, Sylvie, other than they're gold? It's like we've seen the TVA. It is huge. Yet she just walks down a hallway and finds the elevator. Uh, so I, I don't know why that's the only information you want. Surely you want more than that, don't you? Other than, oh, the elevators to the timekeepers, they're gold. Yeah, but there's loads of elevators within this place. It is massive. But she just walks down a hallway and there they are. And there's two there's two guards on it. Okay, then. Moving on. So it's just showing some of the stuff from then. So now, so she shows up in the in the TVA headquarters, tries out her powers. It doesn't work because you can't use your powers in the TVA yet. I, I don't know how she's got to the point of, oh, my, my green stuff's coming out, though. It's like, well, you shouldn't really be, be able to do that either. But, but again, it's like, so you've been studying the TVA all this time and you didn't know your powers wouldn't work in the TVA. So all, all this stuff that she did in the previous episode with the with the reset charges going through the little portals, you know, it's essentially just um, we're trying to, you know, make them pay attention to this over here rather than what I'm doing. So she goes down the hallway, got no powers, don't matter because she's got girl powers. So she gets through that pretty easy. Pretty easy. Then Loki shows up because he followed her through. Uh, he lifts up some knives and then he goes to find her. Uh, and yeah, she turns up at the golden elevators after walking down one hallway. There is only how did Loki find her? He just walked straight down and knew exactly where she was. He he didn't know where she was going. For all for all he knew, she was just going up to get some files. So he didn't he shouldn't know she's here. Again, a lot of teleport uh, teleportation here. So yeah, two two guys, two two guys who are clearly incompetent. Because one of them kills his own friend. Kills his, like, you know, his co-worker. And I'm just like, these people are fucking incompetent. These are the people that are ensuring the sacred timeline continues as the space lizards say. I, I, I don't know what more I can say about this other than this is utter incompetence. Um... So she beats them easily. Loki shows up. They have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a to-do. Uh, they get pushed. They push each other about and stuff. You know, it's very riveting stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. And also, those guards at the door, do you, all they done was say, hey, stop, and put their arm on her. That's, that's all they done. It's like, well, what, 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 you must be able to tell... I, I don't even know how this TVA operates anymore. I'm just like, is, is there no is no one speaking to each other? Is it just, oh, someone's coming towards the, the timekeeper door. So I'll just say, hey, stop and put my hand on your shoulder. That, that'll that teach them. <sighs> All right, so where are we now? So, All right, let me see. So, yeah, no, they have a bit of a fight. And then, then the, yeah, she, she turns up, the boss woman, she shows up with a stick. She says, I'll get you with my stick rather than a gun, you dumb fucking twats. Get a gun, make some bullets that are, you know, prune bullets, like what they have, like what they have on the end here. Make your job a lot easier, but you haven't got that for reasons. Reasons unknown, other than... Your own incompetence and lack of creative thinking to make your job easier. But yeah, they, they show up with sticks and like, yeah, we'll stop you. What? 
uh, whatever, whatever. I don't know why you've got sticks. You brought a sticks. You brought sticks to a to a knife fight. You know, Loki and that have got knives. Pretty sure they got you beat just on that. So get a gun. Just get a gun. It's very simple. So then Loki gets a hold of what is called a, a, a tempad. It's what the TVA used to go to certain places. You know, that's what their portals are. So I, I guess Syl Sylvie has one of those. Loki gets a hold of it and basically saves Sylvie. And they tumble down onto uh, this planet. So, yeah, that's like the little device there that they use to go to different places. Uh, and one of its, I don't know, one of its presets, what, I, I guess it's on shuffle destination. I, I don't know. That It puts them on a planet that is, uh, you know, about to, well, it's, well, it's an apocalyptic planet. The, the moon in the in the sky is exploding and it's going to destroy the planet. So I, I don't know why you have that on any of your presets. Maybe don't have that on there and you won't end up here. Uh, 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 so Loki's like holding on to this thing. Like, oh, you're not you're not having it. You're not having it. With, uh, uh, yeah, she picks it up and it's got, oh, oh, unluckily it's got low battery. How did that happen, do you ask? Well, that, that's because we, we can't have them just leave this place. So we got a low battery. We've got certain things we've got to get to that are very important, I guess, to the director. Because I, I remember covering a certain thing, which we we will get to. And, and apparently this was the the goal of the director. So that's why the little tempad there has got low battery. So we have to walk across a planet, even though it's about to, uh, you know, it's about to implode. And, and, you know, even Sylvie's like, oh, this is imminent death. Yet they walk the whole fucking time. When, when they even show in this episode that Loki is able to teleport. Instead, they, they decide, to now we're just going to walk. We're going to walk it. And we're not going to, you know, we're not going to go a jog, get a jog on, you know, maybe just go full pelt. We're going to walk very slowly and talk shite. Uh, and make Sylvie very unlikable because she's a bitch. You know, just another uh, another cardboard cutout Karen. Um, so that's not working. Loki gets a hold of that and he, he holds it for the entire episode like, you, I'm having it. Uh, you know, basically so she doesn't double cross him. All right, so I don't think I'm missing anything. They go out, so yeah, they go out of the, this Lamentis 1, whatever that is. It's all so CGI gobbledygook, looks like fucking shit. Very, not nice on the eyes. Very purple. Uh, and, and just, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It's just like, uh, you, you know, you could have just done this in the real world. And maybe put a filter on it or something like that. Oh. We got paper falling. Right, so, yeah, they're here. Uh, she's like, idiot, you're a bloody idiot. Uh, let me see. Right, so, yeah, so, hold on, oh, where is it? They're just like, oh, it's an apocalyptic planet. It's almost done. Um, so they're running, and they get into this little shelter thing. So this is when it turns out that what they need... But, you know, they just have a back and forth. There's no chemistry there. Just give up. Uh, and, yeah, she's just a bit, uh, you know... Uh, you know, I would really like to say this word, but I won't. Uh, it starts with a C. You know, this I didn't write the character. <laughs> I didn't write the character. Um, but, yeah, th that's what's funny about it. They introduce her as a complete arsehole. And then they want you to sympathise with her. You know, it comes across later on in the episode that, oh, she's been on her own for years. She hasn't got a mum and a dad and nothing like that. And I'm just like, I don't fucking care. She's an asshole. She gets what she deserves as far as I'm concerned. But there's just no likability there. Whereas you compare it to Loki in the Avengers, he's got a likability. You know, you don't like him in the sense that, well, because he's a villain, you don't like him in that sense. But you like him as the as the villain that he's playing. You know, he's got he's got certain things there. 
a certain a certain way of talking, you know, acting. Whereas here it's just like, oh, you're just you're just a Karen. You're just a, an absolute twat with no likable qualities whatsoever. I I don't I don't get why they start they start to push it in the direction of oh Loki loves Sylvie, so essentially Loki is going to, going to fuck himself. That's what that's a little weird to me uh, that Loki wants to you know bang someone that is him. <laughs> okay, that's what we're doing. I, I I mean what is what do you know? I suppose it's a step down from incest, uh, but it's very strange. But they start trying to push out, and it's like, why? Why would Loki even like her? She's a complete dickhead. But no, no, he, he falls in love with her, apparently. Uh, I'm pretty sure in one of the episodes, he says, you're amazing. I, I imagine that's the next episode. That was That was probably what I would guess. Right, so th then she she tries she tries to do her enchantment on him. It's like, no, he's you. Why is that? Why is that going to work on him? Why? Why would you even attempt that? A a, a bit slow. Yeah, maybe. Right, so I don't think I'm missing anything here. No, not really. So she tries that. It doesn't work. They have a back and forth. Um. She goes. She goes all interdimensional, Karen. Uh, there you go. There. That, that's your. That's your. That's your current day female character in Marvel. Right. So where do we go for? So yeah. Then it turns out we got to go. We got to go. And she says, "Uh, like Loki's like, where where are we going?" Uh, and she says, "Oh, I need to. We need to recharge the ten pad, the little device that they had. Uh, there's power somewhere on this moon." We need enough to travel interdimensional time and space. So more gobbledygook. Uh, and it's just like, oh, there's a power. There's power somewhere. What kind of power? There's just power. And they need lots of it. So that's why we've got, that's why we've got to spend the entire episode on utter bollocks. Because they've made it so, oh, no, we need this big, massive fucking power source for a little device. Little device. It's, it's, it's essentially an iPod. And we're like, no, we need need loads of power, right? Okay, so again, they, they're just they're just putting things in there to waste your fucking time. Uh, oh no, the ten pad is low on battery. Oh no, we need a giant power source, not just a little, you know, normal power source that would would fit with how small this thing is. No, we need big power source that is the size of a fucking moon. So again, it's just it's just we're wasting your time. We're wasting your time. That that's the episode this to, this week. Right. So where do we go? So they go out of here. Uh, e even though even though they know that this planet is gonna gonna be destroyed, they just walk very slowly, very slowly. I'm almost starting to think you're not in any danger whatsoever. <sighs> so they're just walking along. She's being a dickhead again. <coughs> uh, Lo uh, Loki's like, where are we going? She says, oh, we're going to the town and shut up. Just because I have to work with you, I don't want to hear your voice. And I'm like, you are an insufferable, you know, prick. Really are. Um, And she's like, what part of imminent death uh, confuses you? I'm like, you're walking. You're walking at a very slow pace. Run. Run or teleport. Loki literally did that in the previous scene. He teleported behind her. Teleport. Do something. Run. I don't care if you just run, but do not walk at a slow pace. Do not walk at a slow pace. It enrages me. Uh, because it, does, it doesn't fit with what you're saying. You're saying, oh, imminent death, but you're walking. Okay. Okay. Why are you doing that? You're stupid. Stupid, uh, you know, it's not surprising. Michael Waldron had a hand in this, and he saw he also wrote Multiverse of Madness, where Doctor Strange had to save the multiverse, and they had him and America Chavez just walking along. So it's the same shit here. It's like, oh, we're gonna say, oh, we, this is we're in dire need of getting to where we need to get, so we're gonna walk slow. 
but I think I've spent enough time on the slow walking. They do that throughout the episode, by the way. So I may I may go into it again, but hopefully not. Right. So they keep going along. She's like, don't call me a variant. Uh, she's like, don't call me Loki. I'm Sylvie. It's my alias. Uh, Loki's like, that's not very, that's not very Loki-like. And she's like, well, what exactly does a Loki, uh, does a Loki, what exactly makes a Loki a Loki? Too many Lokis in here. Um, I, I, I really, I really hate the fact that we went the multiversal route where there's all these different versions. So shit. It is a shit idea. Uh, especially for when it comes to comic book stuff. I don't, I don't mind multiversal stuff, you know, just on its own in isolation. You know, like everything, everywhere, all at once. That that's that's that was a good movie. That one. Um, whereas here, it just it waters down the characters because we've now got in infinite. Well, not in this show yet, but eventually we have infinite Loki's, and it's just all watered down. I, I just I this multiversal stuff is just lazy shite, especially when it comes here. It's like oh, we've run out of fucking ideas, so let's go let's go multiversal stuff. Uh, and I, I mean, they set rules in this show, then new rules come up in Multiverse of Madness, then new stuff in Quantumania. So we don't know how any of it works. It's all just whatever we feel like that day. So that's that's what happens there. So he said, you know, she's like, what makes a Loki a Loki? And Loki says independence, authority, style. Yet he's walking about in these clothes, in these, these brown brownish clothes very depressing looking not not very good to look at uh, loki has powers to change what he's wearing and he's he's going to bring up the word style yeah okay uh, and i mean authority he's already lost all that that's all gone that is all gone because what happened was he's seen stuff on a tv screen that he'd never experienced and now he's a changed person Right, so that's that. They just walk and walk. They come to this place. I don't. Yeah, I'm not missing anything. I do not think. Um, yeah, they walk into this place, and Loki, Loki says to her, "Oh, will this place be enough to to recharge the uh, the temp pad?" And she she basically lies to get him to give her the temp pad, and then she's like, "Oh, the the temp pad needs a massive power source." It's not really explaining what type of power source, it's just power source. And a massive one for a thing that is like an iPod. <sighs> Fucking hell. But again, it's because we've got to waste time, you see. Got to waste a lot of time. What we think we're doing is building character. <laughs> we're not actually. Ugh, Fucking hell. We're just wasting time. So they go they keep they keep walking along, you know, all those asteroids falling out of the sky. And they're just they're just strolling. It's like a stroll in the park, feeding the ducks. They turn up at this woman's house. Uh you know, Sylvie goes up and boots the door and she gets knocked back by a woman with an air shotgun, I guess. Cuz what what do they go I don't know what they go Yeah, they go there just to say where is everybody? Okay, they went there for that. So the woman's not kind to strangers. Then Loki decides to change into this woman's husband. You could have, you could have just, you you could have teleported inside there, or went in, you know, summon some type of illusion. He just decides to change his appearance, even though the woman knows her husband's dead. That's what you go. You know, there's a reason for it. We can't. We can't have Loki look better than Sylvie, so that that's why he does something that doesn't work either. Even though he's got loads of illusions and tricks up his sleeve, so he gets blown back too. And they're just like, we just want to ask you a question, right? You you just wanted to ask her a question, so you decided to boot down a fucking door. And all all the question was is where where is everybody? Oh, no, you're looking for a power source. Why don't you ask her if she's got it? Oh no, we need a massive power source for reasons. 
So the woman says, oh, they're all at the Ark. The, um, uh, the, the evacuation vessel. So, yeah, we need a massive fucking evacuation vessel, an Ark, to power this. That, that's that's not very good for the TVA then either, is it? How how what are they charging this thing up with? If you need something as big as a an evacuation vessel, you know what kind of power is this evacuation ve uh, vessel? How do you charge it up? What do you plug it into? There's all these things that never come up, but it doesn't matter because you you know what happens is we waste the entire episode on this wanting to recharge this ten pad. And then we smash it up and it's gone at the end of the episode. <laughs> so that is that is the definition of a waste of time. That, that, you, that you introduce something, that is what you got to get to, and then you just throw it out the window. Like, now nah, we're done with that now. We just needed it to waste your time. So that's that's what we've got in store. So they go off again. They go to these people. You know, we just fly through this part. Loki changes into one of these guards. I, I don't know why these guards have, have uh, you know, jumpers on, but okay. So they go on board. Then th this is the, the conversation I was talking about where this was the, the goal of the director, which is going to come out soon enough. Uh, but let me see where we are. Uh, doo -doo. Uh, yeah, essentially this scene is... Loki says, my mummy taught me magic. And Sylvie says, I taught myself. Right, so you didn't have... Right, you just you just taught yourself. Something, something like enchanting people's minds. For some reason, Loki doesn't know how to do this. I, I don't know why, but Sylvie, she taught herself. Because uh, she has the power of vagina. She taught herself. Uh, so that, that's essentially what... It, what they're trying to do is... Oh, oh, look at Sylvie. She doesn't have she doesn't have a mother, and it's like I don't care because she is a bitch. So I don't care. Don't care. So moving on, then it goes to let me just turn the page. Uh, we're not far off anyway. There's uh, again there there is not this is not it's a very empty empty episode. Uh, so then I think Loki brings up, or one of them brings up, I wonder I wonder why that woman stayed. So it all goes into love and stuff. And then, so yeah, it's like, I wonder why that woman stayed. Loki says, I'm bisexual. And, and that was, that I guess is the point of the episode. Because I, uh, I remember covering uh, a story about the director saying, it was my goal in Loki to make him canonically bisexual. So that's why we've got this waste of a fucking time episode. Because that, that was the goal of the director was just Loki Loki's bisexual. Very very interesting, very riveting. And also nothing new. Uh, nothing that we haven't seen before. So whatever, that was your goal, and you wasted wasted an episode. Good job. Good job. I'm sure Marvel will rehire oh no wait. Uh, Marvel never called you back, as I recall. So that's what that's what essentially what the whole point in the episode was, was just for that reason. Uh, you know, I didn't say it. The director came out and said that. <laughs> so that's that's kind of all that was. What a waste of time. So they're just sitting there. So they're on a train. They, yeah, they they got, they've got to get for some reason they got on a train to get to the evacuation vessel. And it's, it's I, I don't, they didn't even tell you, oh, by the way, we've got to get on a train. It just randomly comes up because it doesn't show you that it's a train. Uh, the shop like shows you and you're like, oh, they're at the evacuation vessel. So they have a drink and all that. Loki gets too drunk. I, I, I'm just looking at this stuff in the sky. I'm like, fuck off. I'm sorry. See, something that big. The train is right here. Right there, something that big that is gonna that's gonna demolish you. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of the train. Look at look look how close it is. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, again, we're just what I don't even know. What well, and one other thing I did note in this episode was why are we on this like lamentous one? Why is everybody human? There's no aliens. It's like this is a different planet. 
So I I don't I don't really I've I've what because what is this twenty seventy seven or some shit like that? So I don't know if it's a human colony. I don't know. Uh, do, you know, by the look of it, it doesn't really look like that. So Loki singing that goes on for a bit. Very bored. Um, it just goes on and on. Sylvie's like, "You're drunk." I I don't even know why Loki's this drunk. It's like you're from Asgard. You know, it usually takes you a lot to get drunk. You know, you need Asgardian beer to actually get pissed up. Um. Right, so, yeah, they just have a conversation. Syl Sylvie's all fucking paranoid because she's seen a guy look at them. The guards come in. They get into a big fight. Loki gets thrown out the window with a 10 pad. So then Sylvie has to jump out. Uh, they all, they, yeah, they jump out the train. Uh, now they're like, ah, oh, we're fucked. How are we going to get to the place now? Uh, and then Loki pulls this plate, this 10 pad, and it's destroyed. Right, so you've wasted my time. Thanks. Thanks, uh, I guess, I think Michael Waldron wrote this episode. So, thanks for that. Thanks for wasting my time. Thanks for introducing a 10 pad that has no battery that we have to get recharged and then throw out the fucking window. Great use of time. It's always a great use of time when they do that in shows. Uh, I, I've seen that one so many times now. So you have to review in so many shows and they introduce something and then f get rid of it. it it's, it's so annoying. It's just to make you think that, oh, no, they're actually doing something. they got to get this thing recharged. Yeah, but they destroyed it at the end. Uh, so everything they did in between is pointless. So then they sit down. I don't know. They talk about something. Uh, nothing. But, yeah, it just goes on to... Uh, but now they've got to hijack the evacuation vessel. That comes out of note. They've got to hijack that. Uh, uh, they haven't got long either, so what they do is they slowly walk over there. <laughs> why? Why Why do that? You can't introduce something that is, oh shit, we're all going to die. And then you have your, your characters slowly walk there. You can't have that. It's It doesn't make any sense. But that's what they do here. Um, right, so, we're, so, yeah, they, they continue on foot. So that that's a, they've got a that's a long way to fuck it. That that what you see there, right in the distance, that's where they gotta go and they slowly walk. Even though that's the moon there. Look at the moon. It's fucking almost gonna destroy this planet. Move your asses. So they start walking down. And then it turns out so this is when uh when Sylvie uh, selectively knows things about the TVA because it comes out that all the TV, like Lo Loki has been told the TVA agents are, uh, they were created by the timekeepers. Don't know why you'd think that in the first place, because I've got questions about how that would even work. But that's apparently what the timekeeper, that's what Loki believes to be the case. Until Sylvie says, oh no, all the all the TVA agents are, uh, they're, they're all variants like us. So, right, you know that, but you didn't know, you didn't know, um... Why am I blanking on it now? I brought it up earlier. But you, you didn't know that... I'm completely forgetting this fucking show. There's just so much shite in it. It's, it's like I've got, I've got to sit and remember what what exactly it was I'm trying to... Right, so... Yeah, she when she turned up in the place and didn't know that she couldn't use her powers, you know, stuff like that, she didn't know that, she does know... How do you know this? I, I don't know how you know this specifically. But that's, yeah, that's apparently what it is. So, to be honest, Sylvie knows that. And, right, that, you've got something great there to dem to destroy the TVA. Tell tell all the TVA agents you are variants. Because the, the TVA agents don't know that. If you were to tell them, oh, you're all variants, by the way, and you've been forced into this, that, that would turn all the workers on the TVA. And and you didn't think to do that, man. You're you're dumb, so dumb. Um, even though again they try and present her as a, a, like really of high intelligence. Uh, but yeah, I imagine that's going to come up at some point. But I'm like Sylvie, you know that information. Uh, you could have used that to your advantage. Uh, but no, no, you did not. Um. 
so yeah, they they're now going to the town. They've got like I think they hear on a on a like from the town that oh the shuttle was leaving in ten minutes. So right, I'm just like yeah, that's why you should have ran. You should have ran or teleported, like you've shown in this episode. Uh, but no, they didn't. So they get in there. They're too late. It takes off. And then it gets, then it eventually gets destroyed. Right. Yeah. So, mm, you know, all that slow walking. Fucking dicks. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the episode. They're just looking there and they're like, oh shit, we're going to die. Uh, but I guess they're not because we still got three episodes to, to go. Oh no, this was, this was actually written by uh, Bisha K. R. Lee. She's the the person that wrote, you know. I forget now. Why can't I get? Oh, fuck off. So yeah, that's who the that's who this episode was written by. Uh, I th I think she wrote like the first episode of of Ms. Marvel or something like that. Some shit. Uh, but that's who wrote it. So it's not surprising we got meaningless shite like the entire episode of just oh Loki's bisexual. Right, riveting stuff, riveting stuff. Uh, but that is episode episode three. We've only got three to go now. I'm looking forward to it. But I, I don't think I've got much else to add other than that was a waste of 35 minutes. Re it really was just to introduce this tempad and then instantly have it destroyed. Um, you know, why am I not surprised? <laughs> Thank you.